Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 133, using Liquid and FetchXML to get choices. There are times when you need to retrieve the list of available options for a choice column. One example is if you're building a custom search experience that allows filtering by the value of a choice column. In this case, the ideal user experience is to display the list of choices and allow the user to select what they want to filter on. But how can you get that list in a way that will be automatically updated if the list of choices changes? Liquid and fetch XML to the rescue. There is a special table that you can query called string map. Using liquid and fetch XML, you can query this table, filtering based on the attribute name, language, and the object type code to get the options. If you're using United States English, the language code is 1033. The object type code is for the table that the attribute is on. I find the easiest way to get this value is the metadata browser tool in the XRAM toolbox. You can choose to order by the display order column if you want, or alphabetically if you prefer. The columns you get back can include the value, which is the text, and attribute value, which is the underlying number for that choice. Since we're using fetch XML and liquid, don't forget that you'll need table permissions configured for this to work. Simply create a new globally scoped table permission for the string map table and associate it with the relevant web roles. Note that while the portal code doesn't yet support choices columns or multi-select option sets, this technique can be used to get the available options. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 133 on using Liquid and FetchXML to get choices, useful.